Yo, yo, what's up? It's Chris Sims, Unbuttoned Podcast, and I got one of my favorite guys from the draft. Yes. <laughs> The deuce man himself. I wore number two. I always love somebody that wears number two, man. <laughs> and when he's a baller looking cool in an LSU uniform, man, he caught my eye in a hurry. Justin Jefferson, what's up, dude? How are you? I'm doing good, man. How are you? I'm doing good. You know, uh, you were my second, second favorite receiver in my draft rankings, okay? And I know you hold vendettas. I just want to make <laughs> sure we're so cool that I had you at number two. We'll get into yeah, that a little good. bit later, but... It's nothing personal. I love you. I really do. <laughs> we are good with it. I'm cool with it. All right, good. All right, let's 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 have some fun, all right? I'd like to get to know you, get, get my fans to get to know you a little bit. I've heard nothing but good things about you. And, of course, uh, I, I saw a lot about you on the football field. You're awesome. Here we go. This is heavy-hitting shit. It's Nobody's cute. asked you these questions. You better be ready. I'm ready for Michael or LeBron? Whew. <sighs> LeBron. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll get back to that. I like a good one word answer. Beyonce or Rihanna? Personally, Rihanna. Okay. That's all I want. I want personal Rihanna. just to you. I don't give a damn what anybody <laughs> else thinks. All right. I'm, I'm with you. I'm team, team Rihanna too. Biggie or Tupac? Tupac. Tupac was smooth. Yeah, man, all all the college kids have picked Tupac, and Biggie's got no love so far. Just so you know, <laughs> just, I'm just letting you know. Tra Travis Scott or Future? Oh, I'm gonna yeah, go with Travis. Tough one. Travis, Travis, uh, he's a rager. He's he's been killing the game right now. So uh, I'll probably definitely have to go with Travis right now. I'm I'm with you. I'm riding with Travis too. I love Future, but man, I don't know something about Travis right. just puts me in the right the right mindset exactly. all the time. Exactly, exactly, perfect. Benz or Beamer? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with Benz. Benz is smooth. Benz has I don't know what what it about Mercedes, but they just like when you look at them, they just have that little classy, smooth type yeah. vibe to it. So. I definitely have to go with Mercedes. Yeah, it's one of those cars where you just see somebody get in and you just think they're rich automatically right. because they got a Benz. Right? They're just like, right. man, he's rich. He's got a Benz. All right. right. Katy Perry, okay, or, ta or Taylor Swift? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. Right. I got to go with Katy. I like Katy. Uh, uh, I, 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 I had I you like pegged for a Katy Perry guy all along. I knew it. <laughs> knew it. <laughs> Randy or T.O.? Mm. Man, Randy was a bad man. I'm going to have to go yeah. with Randy. Randy, fast, can go get it. You can really throw it up to him, and he's going to get it wherever the ball is at. So I'll definitely have to go with Randy. Yeah, plus you played with his son, and he probably knows where you live, and you don't want to mess him up. So, uh-oh. Right. Uh-oh, he dropped the phone. Watch out. Hey, um, man. hey I ain't driving it again. All right, good. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to hold you to that. Okay, favorite Avengers character? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Man. Has to be. Has Ed to be. fits. Yeah, Ed fits. I mean, you kind of got Spider-Man hands. There's no doubt got about to. that. Got to. Got to. Yeah. All right. All right. And then I just want to have a few, like, fun college questions. Best player you played against in college. Doesn't have to be a DB, but just the best player you saw in your three years at LSU across the field. Um, okay. Um, best player in college. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Auburn's D line was massive. Uh, they gave us trouble the whole game. Uh, we couldn't really move the ball as much as we wanted to. So, uh, Derek Brown and all those, the two other big guys. On yeah. The, on the, and I'll have to, I'll have to definitely go with them. Yeah, I mean, I, I, hey, I'm not mad at you for that answer, man. Derek Brown, I mean, he's freak, freak of all freak, freaks. Freak is, freak is. No that dude is so big, so strong. Right? And to be that quick, I mean, well, first off, I mean, the SEC is, uh, you guys got so many freaks of nature in that conference. It's, it's not even right. fair to the rest of college football. Uh, it truly exactly. is special that way. All right, so last thing. Let's just say you're stuck in quarantine. You can't be home with mom or dad or anybody else. 
Who's one person you just want to spend one day with to just kick it, do whatever? Who is it? Who's like Justin Jefferson's idol? I'm going to have to go with Drake. Drake. Drake's big time, man. He's he's killing the game in the music industry. Um, just the way he carries himself, his swagger. Uh, just just everything about Drake, I, I, I like him. Uh, you know, just his sound, his music, his style, everything about him. So I'll definitely yeah, have to go. I, I'm with you. I mean, he he might be my guy, too. He's up there. I wanted to go hey, hang out at his house, though. That new house exactly. he's got. Yeah. Oh, man, as as he invite me, me house, over. Bro, we good. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. We'll have plenty of fun over there. All right. Exactly. Good stuff. That's good. I knew it. I knew you'd be a Katy Perry guy. I had you pegged for that all along. <laughs> all the other answer, answers were good. Um, but, you know, tell everybody, like, you know, first off, what's this been like so far? Just the experience, national championship game, Odell Beckham Jr. throwing you cash on the field, now first round draft pick. Just kind of, if you could sum it all up, what is it, what's it all been like to this point? Uh, it always been, it, it been a dream, to be honest. Um, it still feels like a dream to this day. Um, just this whole last year happened so fast and, um, uh, it just was a miracle that, you know, we just changed our whole program around in one year. So uh, to be on this team with all these great players, all these great coaches, and um, really just going every Saturday and just being unstoppable. So uh, just doing that for 15 or well, more than 15 weeks, uh, just it, it's, it's been phenomenal. It's been crazy. And uh, it's I, been a journey. I, I, yeah, no, I, I mean, it, it's it's a weird year, first off. I mean, I, I feel for you guys, especially you first-round picks, because you didn't get to get on the stage and, you know, hug Roger Goodell and get that experience. Uh, but it, it, it is. It's a different year and still should be excited, no doubt about it. You know, I hit on, like, the Odell Beckham Jr. thing, you know, just a little bit. First off, it's one of my favorite players in football. You know, what, what, what kind of relationship do you have with him? What kind of effect does – he and maybe some other ex-star players from LSU have on the football program in general? Uh, me and O, uh, I definitely have a lot of respect for O. Um, just off him being in the same position as me, uh, just killing the NFL and uh, really just doing what he does, you know, catch catching one-handers and uh, making big-time plays on that national uh, platform. So, um I've been a fan of him since he was in college. So now just having that relationship with him uh, and just kind of getting all the information that I can out of him, uh, it, it's, it's pretty special to me. Uh, you know, I, I was pretty stoked to, to actually just be having that connection with him at first. and But now, you know, he's just like a, a older brother to me. So uh, to have that connection with him is, is special for me. Well, yeah, he's, I mean, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I mean, I mean, you've obviously swapped cell phone numbers with him and he's an easy guy to contact, right? And right. just talk and pick his brain with. Right. Uh, yes, definitely. And, um, you know, we both, we have some uh, similarities in our game. Uh, you know, I've you been do. watching him so long, uh, just kind of seeing what he does and then going out on the field and trying to do the same thing. So uh, just putting that into my game and, uh, just kind of having that little signature movement that he does during his routes or uh, just, you know, his uh, moves after catch. Uh, just all of that plays a part in my my game today. And um, he's just a part of my game that I enjoy having and uh, that I'm, I'm excited to bring into the league. Have you got a chance, you know, because I'm just you guys have such star power. Do you get a chance to work out with some of the ex players at times like does an Odell or a Jarvis Landry or a Patrick P come into town and you actually get to get on the field with them and do drills every now and then? Uh, well, dealing with this stuff now, uh, of course, yeah, not not, now. it's not, you know, of course, everybody have their own little lives right now, uh, just taking care of their own personal things. So uh, we're kind of all working out individually and uh, just kind of trying to stay safe from all of this corona stuff. So uh, I'm pretty sure if this corona stuff wasn't happening, but definitely uh, getting with those guys and working out with those guys, picking their brain. 
Yeah. All right. I mean, one of the things I like about you, because you're a little like me and OBJ in this, but you, you wear your heart on your sleeve. You know, you're not afraid to show your emotions. And I, I respect that big time. Um, you've let it be known that you're kind of pissed off that you're the fifth receiver off the board. I'm not going to lie. I was pissed off too. I don't, I don't get it. Okay. I don't, uh, but, but let, just take us through that. Why do you think you ended up being the fifth guy off the board? Did you think one of those teams beforehand were going to draft you? Did you feel like Minnesota had, you know, uh, you know, a keen eye on you and was looking at you? Did you expect to be a Minnesota Vikings? I know that was a lot of questions there, uh, but try to do your best to, to answer it. <laughs> um, well, um, with just me, uh, just it being me, um, it's difficult to, to really know exactly where you're going to go in the draft. Uh, right. Just talk to all these different teams uh, you know, all of these different teams need receivers. So uh, you kind of never really know uh, what pick they're going to go with or, you know, what re type of receiver they're looking for. So uh, just kind of waiting and just patiently seeing uh, what team gets who uh, or, you know, what team uh, rather this type of receiver than this type of receiver. So uh, just kind of just looking at all of that and uh, just waiting for that phone call. But I'm excited to be in Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota is a great overall team. They have a great offense, great defense. Uh, they have playmakers all over the field. So uh, going into Minnesota definitely is exciting for me. And uh, I'm definitely excited to work with those different guys. Well, uh, all right. So first thing, because I want to know, you know, Minnesota Vikings, I'm excited. You, Adam Thielen, Kirk Cousins, Dalvin Cook. I mean, that's a pretty damn good, quad, you know, quad of players right there. Uh, what number is Justin Jefferson going to be sporting when he puts on the purple? Are you going to still be able to wear the deuce, or are we going to join, like, one of the 80s numbers? No, I'm going with 18. 18 is the new number. Uh, of course, I would love to stay with number two if I was able to. But, uh, you know, dealing with the NFL, we can't have any single-digit numbers as a receiver. So, uh, 18 definitely pay, uh, played a part in LSU. Uh, you know, at LSU, 18 was a big leadership number. Right. Uh, was given to the guy that, you know, represented the team on and off the field. So uh, just taking that into Minnesota, trying to be a leader on and off the field, uh, trying to be a role, mo role model for uh, younger kids and uh, just trying to be uh, that great image, you know, just uh, trying to go into Minnesota with that right mind frame. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's really cool. I'm, I'm always intrigued. You know, LSU, you guys seem to have such a special bond. 18, like you mentioned, that was Caleb on Chason's number last year. So, yeah, I mean, explain that to people about the, the importance of that number. I didn't really know about that till this year. But just LSU in general, such a special school. You guys seem to be so closely knitted together. Um, you know, just just w w w is that that eighteen? That was it. Just because it's it's a special LSU number, you're going to infuse it in the NFL. It's just as simple as that. Yes, um, just kind of. I always wanted to have that leadership role at LSU, uh, but I felt like you know, just me being a younger player, um, just not taking on that leadership role like I wanted to. Uh, I mean, yeah, I was a leader of the receivers group, and you know, yeah, I. Right. I I just wasn't that vocal leader of the whole team like that. So just trying to take that into Minnesota and trying to be more of a leader than uh, just kind of, you know, just listening, being in the background. You know, talk about your family a little bit because you, you come from a football family. You got two older brothers who played at LSU. You know, how did, how did they, you know, how did being raised in that family and having two older brothers that love football kind of mold your football game? Um, seeing, seeing them play, um, at the age of eight, uh, it kind of changed my whole demeanor, whole mind frame of the game. Uh, I felt like I was way more advanced than a lot of eight year olds. So, uh, just going to those LSU games for eight years straight and, uh, seeing, uh, all these different players coming in, Tyron Matthews, Odell, Jarvis, Patrick Peterson, um, you know, my brother, um, Tredavious White, just all those different guys that's coming through there. And I'm just paying attention to 
like every single one of them, their movements, uh, how they move, how, uh, what different shake moves that they do, um, just everything, just seeing that and then putting that towards my game as a young player. Uh, I was way more advanced as an eight-year-old than a lot of other eight-year-olds. Yeah, well, I get that. You know, I grew up, my dad was an NFL football player. And when it gets thrusted on you in a young age, yeah, you start to pick up little nuances that, you know, maybe somebody in your position wouldn't. But did you play, you know, one of the things I wrote in my notes when I studied you on film and everything, I just not only amazed by your physical ability, but your instincts as a slot receiver, you know, knowing where to sit down in a zone. Oh, Joe Burrow scrambling. Let me go here or make this type of move. I mean, you're a natural at that. And what I want, what I'm meaning by all this is, did you ever play quarterback yourself growing up? Yes, I played quarterback. Uh, I played quarterback all the way until uh, high school. High school is my first time uh, playing receiver. So, um, you know, just trying to be like my oldest brother, uh, seeing him being quarterback kind of wanted me to, uh, I wanted to be quarterback also. So, right. Uh, I'm teaching me uh, different defenses and uh, different things to look for. Um, it kind of helped me uh, last year uh, in a slot position. Yeah, I, I, that's what I—that's where I was getting at. I, you know, because I feel like you play like a guy with the knowledge of seeing the field like a quarterback. And, of course, your hands, a.k.a. that's why Avengers is Spider-Man's your guy. You got unbelievable hands to go along with it, but – yeah, you do think that that quarterback background of you playing, seeing your brother play has certainly helped you as a wide receiver and just what your overall knowledge of the football game. Oh, definitely. Um, just kind of being with Jordan uh, while he was studying his plays, um, just seeing the different things that he look at and uh, different things that <clears throat> different things that I can look at also. So. Uh, just him just kind of helping me throughout the whole way on um, how to become a better receiver. So um, being a better receiver, definitely have to know the uh, different defensive coverages and have to uh, really kind of run the route off of different defenses. So uh, you kind of definitely have to pay attention, you know, as you're running the route. So not uh, many people can have that ability to do that. So uh, for me to say that I can do that and uh, I can't read defenses as I'm running my route, um, that's just something that can help me in the long run. Yeah, it, well, it shows up on film. It does. And the, it, it's one of the things I underline. That's why I wanted to ask you. I, I didn't Wikipedia. I didn't know if you played uh, quarterback at all. So I had no knowledge of that. It just it kind of shows in your game. You know, as far as uh, growing up, who, who was your favorite NFL team? Um, honestly, I wasn't really fans of NFL teams. I was mostly okay. fans of individual players than NFL teams. You know, of course, you know, I was a fan of the Saints because of New Orleans. But, uh, you know, I was just fans of really individual players other than teams. Yeah, okay. So give me some of those players. Who Who, who is it? I'd love to hear just, you know, who your idols were as you were a young a young boy growing up. Uh, Calvin Johnson was definitely one of the big time receivers, uh, that I loved watching. Um, uh, of course I was very young, but, uh, Randy Moss, especially, um, just seeing him, uh, with his speed and him going up, catching the ball at high points, making unbelievable catches, uh, for now, for my generation, uh, Odell, um, Devontae Adams, Keenan Allen, those type of guys right. are phenomenal, uh, especially off getting releases off the press. And uh, just the way they run routes, uh, they're so smooth. They're so so in and out of breaks. Um, just they, they are professionals at what they do. Yeah, they are. Um, how do you... How do you stay a professional right now? When's the last time you caught a football? I would think catching footballs is tough right now with social distancing and doing anything like that. It's probably the longest period you've ever gone between getting your hands on a ball. Um, see, that's that's one of the things that I had to take in consideration. Uh, you know, I don't have a quarterback that can throw to me every single day. So uh, I had to go and buy myself a jug machine so I would be able to catch balls and 
uh, as many balls as I need to. So my man, uh, just doing that and uh, just having to buy that uh, definitely helped me. And um, we was actually on them yesterday, so uh, we'll probably be on them again today. That 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 that's why you're my guy, dude. That's why <laughs> I knew it. I mean, you just you're all in. I mean, what do we do? We got it like in the backyard, just so you can go back yes, there. In the you, backyard. you do, man. Yep. That is amazing. See, that's a sure, real sure pro a right there. That's when I know you grew up in a football family right there. <laughs> you know, you talked about some of your idols. Who's like just when you get in the Minnesota Vikings regular season game next year? You know, who are, who are some of the guys in the NFL right now like uh, that you're excited to see in person? You know, whether that's Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, not necessarily guys you got to compete with, but, you know, like for me, when I came into the league, I was like, oh, my gosh, I can't wait to see Brett Favre. And yeah. I remember just seeing my rookie year sitting on the sideline watching watching him play, just being, you know, in amazement. You got any guys like that for you going into the league this year? I mean, yeah, Tom Tom Brady is one of the, the highest. Um, just him yeah. being the guy that he is, uh, you know, winning all these Super Bowls. Um, you know, I'm trying to be just like him. Uh, I'm trying to win all of these Super Bowls, uh, be classified as the GOAT. Um, so... Definitely uh, seeing him and meeting him for the first time is definitely going to be something that I will remember for a long period of time. But um, just me being a receiver, definitely excited to go against uh, these phenomenal cornerbacks in the league also. So uh, just going against Pat and uh, Tredavious, Tyron, um, all those different guys, especially that went to LSU uh, that I will be seeing in the league now. Yeah, it's uh, it's special, and you're right. You're going to be right at home because there's freaking LSU ballers on every damn team. I just want you to know my last victory in college came against LSU, all right? So I feel real good about that. Yeah, dominated you guys, dominated. <laughs> but I can't – Texas can't talk right now. We're not even in the same stratosphere as LSU, so I'll, hey, I'll keep that hey, quiet. Y'all, y'all, try to, y'all try to talk a little bit. Uh, before the game, so we, we we had to we had to make something shake. Yeah, you made it shake, especially on that ball you caught down the middle of the field, and then ran up the sidelines for sixty yards and to, touchdown. Thanks I for that, to. man. Appreciate that. Yeah, real hey, nice. We were, we were in Texas too, so it, it was a dagger. So I had to I had to break that to him. Okay, good. All right, La- you know, uh, last few things here. What are we going to do? What's the first thing we're going to buy with this, you know, new number 22 pick of the NFL draft money? You know, what are we going to get? Watch, car, anything special, anything fun you're going to spoil yourself with? Uh, I mean, I definitely have to give myself a place, uh, especially in Minnesota. Um, definitely have to get a, a car. Car has been one of the things that, you know, I've been waiting to get, um, especially have to get, a car for my mom. Um, you know, she's been doing everything for me. She's supported me throughout this whole way. So uh, just get, gifting her with something she always wanted uh, will be special to me as well. Uh, yeah. But other than that, um, I'm saving my money. I'm, I'm investing. Good, good, good answer on all accounts. And you got to take care of mom. I'm a mama's boy. Right. And that's what you should do. You know, <laughs> right. that, always. The, yeah, the hell with everybody else. Mom comes first. That's one <laughs> lesson I know in life. And exactly. my, my kids are teaching me that right now, actually. They, they'd prefer mom over dad any day of the week. That's not even close. <laughs> but, hey, you the man, bro. I'm really, really rooting for you. You were one of my favorite players in the draft, all right? I've even said I got a man crush on you with the way you play and everything. I love your attitude. Good luck up in Minnesota, dude, and ball out. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, man. Be good. Peace out. All right. See ya. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.